the good life. Texas style. A singles complex so big, it has 26 swimming pools and pulls its own television shows off a satellite. 400 acres of lakes and jogging trails spread out over the prairie, right in the heart of Dallas. It is called the village, a small city really. 10,000 single adults, half of them in their early 20s. 85% under 34. Young, good looking, well off. The things that make them the most happy unfortunately also make them prime targets for crime. Last spring there were 27 daylight burglaries in one month. 17 rapes last year. What to do? Well remember folks, this is Texas. The village did what a town's gotta do. It hired a lawman on horseback. Since Dave Moore took over the job last June, Quit acting up. only two burglars have gotten away. What's the matter with you? With his high perch and unobstructed view, daytime burglaries dropped 90% in one month. 101. One hour. You can contact the manager of the Meadows. We got an unsecured apartment at this location. Possible break-ins are spotted quickly, quietly, and checked out. The patrol car wouldn't have noticed that door. It opens from uh, away from the uh, parking lot sign. Unless I had walked through there on foot patrol from a patrol car, I'd have never noticed it. We know for a fact that once we put day coverage in here, that the burglaries increased across the street. Jim Nelson, the patrol division manager, says daytime crime has simply moved out. The horse is a, a, an observation platform that comes through these parking lots and in between these buildings and upstairs and down steps with no headlights, no engine noise, and he is very effective. Tenants who have trouble relating to a cop in a car will talk to Dave Moore and Smitty. Also, I know a guy that has a key that will open any apartment. You're pretty nice. Smitty fits right in. Okay, now, Jan. There you go. Come on. Hey. All right. Nice ride. Nice so ride. does Dave. Right. They ride as partners across the Texas range, bringing law and order to a world of designer jogging outfits and polished sports cars. What do you have to handle that John Wayne didn't? Uh, cool complaints, loud stereos. Uh, domestic disturbances, parking violations, concrete. He never had to deal with concrete. How y'all doing today? This really is Texas. <laughs> See a horse out at the village. <laughs> Smitty will eat anything. His care and feeding is less than half the cost of the security cars that also patrol the complex. But it has not all been happy trails. The first week out here after we brought him out, uh, he was still a little spooky and uh, our officer was on a call and tied him to a, uh, a flagpole. The horse got spooked and he reared back on his hind legs and broke the reins he was tied with and he fell back over the hood of this fellow's car. Uh, the saddle horn went through the windshield and he put a nice 1,400 pound dent in the hood of the car. Dave Moore is not a cowboy by profession. He spent six years in the military police before taking to the saddle last May. He and Smitty now cover 35 to 50 miles a day under the blazing Texas sun. One man, one horse. Tough job. Smitty and Dave have been so successful, other apartments in Dallas are now looking into their own horse patrols. The horse is quick, quiet, and cheap, and can get more places than a car. Just watch out for the exhaust. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, Dallas. Mm -hmm.